So the last time I tried to do this, wasn't that well received. You know, I didn't really think it out that well. Could have did better. I want to do better. And for the sake of the internet, it deserves better. So I'm gonna try it today. Put significantly more work into this comparison. And I hope it shows. Please hit that like button. <laughs> okay, welcome to the inside of my computer. I hope the journey was nice and you didn't run into any viruses. Uh, please respect the space while you are inside. Don't do anything reckless. So when you go into S3D, you can open your process. And what I've done here is this is a profile I've kind of developed for the Maker Geeks line of filament because they, they melt a little bit hotter. So um, it's a special profile that I use and have had success with their filament. So what we're going to do is use their filament PLA and slice the same model with Simplify 3D as well as Idea Maker. So I'm going to go through these tabs. We're going to try and find the closest equivalent in Idea Maker to the settings in Simplify 3D. So we go to printer, printer settings, blah, 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 blah. Once you add that in, so this is set up for a CR10. So it takes you to this, double clicking your profile that you have set up. Got it set to 10% fill density blah 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 but we'll go to advanced and that's where it mirrors simplify 3d quite a bit basically they just took the gui off of uh, simplify 3d and just put it on idea maker except some of the terminology is a little bit different so at this point in the video i decide to go through every single setting i use for simplify 3d and it's respected cohort in idea maker and it just makes for the most boring, eye-bleeding content I've ever seen in my life. So what I've done is I just sped it up really fast. If you want to slow the video down and look at it, feel free to do so. I will put links to both profiles I used for Simplify 3D and for Idea Maker. So if you wanted to load those profiles and see the corresponding similarities, feel free to do so. Turn on the workshop. Okay. I did supports on the bottom layer, no supports on the top. So, um, just to see kind of how they how they sliced a little bit differently. So this is Idea Maker. Remove these supports. See if the supports kind of melted over to the temp cones. 
All right, so now simplify 3D supports. Ooh, we have a little bit similar to the benchy. Um, under the support here on the flat part of the model, it didn't quite go all the way to the base. So similar to the deck on the benchy, it's doing the same thing here to remove the supports. If you don't hit yourself in the face, yikes. Good thing I got my safety glasses. So let's uh, remove the supports on Idea Maker first, because that's how we started before. Uh, it's interesting to note the differences in support generation. They are set up both for four millimeters. So I think Idea Maker decided just to, to put in smaller ones uh, for some reason, and they're not quite full supports. You can kind of see in there. You'll, you can kind of see in there. You probably see it a little better in the. Uh, I think for the purpose of this this demonstration, I think that's about as hard as I'm going to work at it. If it if it's still there after I work at it that hard, I'm probably that's that's about it. You know, I'm not gonna try and go crazy with it. But otherwise, much more. Much more enjoyable support removal process, that's for sure. Printing out this model, uh, these, these were for tolerances. So both these were modeled for this screw. It's a half inch hex head. Um, on the nut side as well as this uh, the receiver side essentially nut goes right in there this is idea maker nut goes right in there so both great on tolerances. I think that speaks to the CR10 more than the, than the slicer, but. Uh-oh, a little tough to get uh, the nut through there. Not liking that. This is Simplify 3D. That could be a modeling error. Don't get too excited. Fits in there, and it sucks right down into there. So good on tolerance with Simplify 3D. I would I would almost argue that was slightly slightly better. It's not quite going in as is nice, but we should be able to tighten it down with this. Oh, oh yeah. All right, right down in there. So there we go. If you have made it to this part of the video, congratulations. Um, I checked out about 10 minutes ago, but it's good because I wrote down a list this time. I got a list. I'm a real professional today. Okay, so a couple things in Idea Maker as a slicer. Um, it loads the model kind of in a dull color, and when you select that model in the slicer, it doesn't display your color choice until you click off of that, off of the model, right? So it's a little bit difficult. This real dark red color, it auto loads in, and uh, there might be a way to adjust that or something. Uh, if you know, feel free to put it down in the comments. The other thing is the, the time it takes to slice. So in Simplify 3D um, and to some extent Cura, uh, Craftware does a great job at this as well. What Idea Maker does is it actually, 
when you slice the model, it takes that model and then it exports it for you before giving you a preview, which is okay, I guess. But then you have to hit preview again, um, and then it actually slices the model. So that's a bit of an issue because it's a two-step process. Instead of slicing and having the model presented to you, you can check it, see your infill settings, make sure you're, you know you can double check at that point, and then back out and re-slice if you need to. In Idea Maker, it takes two steps to get to that point where you know you have to adjust settings. So not a huge issue. wasn't wasn't a huge fan of it though. On that same note, the slicing times I noticed um, when I was slicing this. The grumpy carnosaur to where I could actually see the preview and then save and export was 54.7 seconds. For Simplify 3D, that same model with the same settings and the same support structure, supposed to be the same support structure anyway, um, automatic supports at, at 45 degrees or something, that took 10.7 seconds. So that's about a five times quicker slice speed so that is something to kind of look at and it's not that complex of a model another thing about supports idea maker is restricted to 10 millimeter support um which i mean you hear that number and you're like well why would you ever need larger than a 10 millimeter base support i use like 20 i think 20 22 millimeter supports on my lithophanes because I print them in a Y orientation. So the thinnest portion of the lithophane, right? The, the picture portion is to the right side. What I use to keep that vertical and printing um, without it having toppled over, I use supports for that. And in Simplify 3D, I can bring it up to the bottom of where the lithophane starts or just straight at the bottom, depending on where the litho is going. I can use those supports to branch out um, about 20, 25 millimeters, and that helps stabilize the print. For me, I would like to see a higher, you know, not crazy, but at least up in that 20 millimeter support pillar range. That'd be nice. Or a special uh, lithophane support option or something. And if there is any, uh, please let me know. Um, so what I do really, really, really like about Idea Maker that I wish Simplify 3D either implements or implements easier because I haven't found it yet, but you can actually pause the print in Idea Maker. And I know I'm going to get a lot of heat for that because you can write in a pause in your G code. I'm well aware you can do that. I just like the idea that I can set a pause in Idea Maker instead of having to go back through that G code and setting the pause. I think that is just a great function because I can set when I want to do filament swaps and I can set when I want changes in color or whatever. A couple things about this, doing these comparison videos, right? Like a lot of people think that I'm just bashing one or the other and I'm really not, I, I'm really not. The only kind of disadvantages I've seen from Idea Maker to Simplify 3D has been basically print time, but I saw kind of significantly higher, like longer print times from Idea Maker, but I also saw estimates from Idea Maker that were more in the ballpark, right? So it wasn't grossly it wasn't grossly underestimating the print, but at the same time it did take longer to print. So the only thing I would really kind of need to adjust with the idea maker profile and it's totally doable is the distance between the supports and the part so i think that distance just slightly too much uh, or sl slightly not enough right minuscule amount to make those supports come off a little bit easier right and for some reason the way that idea maker outputs its g code and simplify 3d is slightly different so the supports end up binding to the model. But that small tweak really is not that big of an issue, you know? So um, it's a great free slicer. I enjoy it much, much more than Cura. I know a lot of guys out there love Cura, not bashing Cura, good program. But um, I just, for ease of use, adjustable, 
and customizable support option and free from the raise guys um and gals just great so if you like the video hit the like button if you want to consider subscribing i will consider letting you um other than that i am elliot i enjoyed our time together today i appreciate you coming to the end of this video because i don't know i don't know how you did it i mean by now this thing's got to be like 20 minutes long it's crazy but stay tuned for more crazy stuff and i will see you on the next one smash it that's right smash it like potatoes mashed potatoes mash it mash that like button that's right give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down too i hate i hate how linus does that by the way linus tech tips tech tips he gives you the option to dislike his video right like why don't do that don't do that. Give your audience one way out, man. Just one way out.